So we can drag a path or a file or a folder copy paste from Windows Explorer and place it in a path control if a dropping is enabled. Dropping is enabled by default. To disable dropping, we can right click the path control and go to advanced and from there disallow dropping. By default it is allow dropping from the shortcut menu. Path controls and indicators work similarly to string controls and indicators. But lab view formats the path using the standard syntax for the platform that we are using. So if a function that returns a path fails, let's run the VI and this VI will ask for a path and let's not give it a path. It should return an error and if we continue we will see that the indicator returns not a path in the indicator. Further we can use not a path as the default value for a path control to detect when the user fails to provide a path. and display a file dialog with options for selecting a path. We can use the file dialog express vi to display a file dialog. So let's place it in the false case. Let's run the VI. Since we did not provide a path, the dialog box has just opened up a path for us to choose. Which we can extract from here. We can use empty paths to
prompt the user to specify a path. So if we run the VI, this function will give an error. and this function will display a dialog box to choose a file an empty path appears as an empty string on windows and mac os 32 bit and a forward slash on linux and mac os 64 bit When we wire an empty path to a file input output IO functions, the empty path refers to the list of drives mapped to the computer. So a relative path So let's run the VI. And these paths are not a path. Why? Because this file is not saved. So let's save this, uh, this file. Control S. And now let's, it, let's run it again and now we have the proper paths and these paths are relative to this VI so we can uh, a relative path describes the location of a file or directory relative to an arbitrary location in the file system for example this path is the current VI's path and relative to that we are creating a test.txt and this is the application directory VI will return the path to the folder where this VI is located and inside that we are creating this file. An absolute path describes the location of a file or a directory starting from the top level of the file system drive in the folder then the subfolder then the VI 
we should use relative paths in vi's to avoid having to rework the paths if we build an application or run the vi on a different computer